Alrighty guys, welcome back to Zerif Plays. Today we are playing a Chiller's Arts game. If you're not familiar with Chiller's Arts, they do a whole bunch of uh, short horror adventure interactive kind of games. And yeah, this one's called The Convenience Store, so let's get straight into it. Time. I need to get ready for work. Alrighty, here we are. Um, uh, slept well? Change clothes. Yeah, uh, yes. Okay. I didn't even click on that, I just kind of like looked at it and it came up with a prompt. Interesting. Alright. What's this? Microwave, we've got a TV. Man, this is cool. Ooh, puffs. What's this? It's dark outside. Okay. So we work like night shift. Let's see, do we have any food in the fridge? Ooh, what's this? Okay. Can I eat it? What do I do with it? Maybe I've got a microwave at first. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Eat bento. Sure. Nom 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 nom. Okay. Alright, so we've changed our clothes and we've eaten. To go through here. What's this? It's a kitchen. Okay. Gotta bring a flashlight. Okay. Oh, yeah. What's this? Okay, flashlight. Nice. Nothing in there. There's the bathroom, the, the shitter. It's down here. Oh, okay, this is outside. Oh, okay. Can we close our door? Okay, no, we just leave it open? Sure. Must be a safe neighborhood. <laughs> um, I have no idea where I'm going. Let's go down this way. Man, I, look how close these places are. I don't know, are these houses? Are these like little dwellings? Because if so, that's crazy how like they're just divided by these little alleyway things. Okay. Yeah, that's nuts. Let's go down this way. I think we have to follow the lights. I'm guessing so anyway. Okay, it looks like a big walkway down there, like a... This place is so weird, man. It's like walled off, but like... Suspended by a bridge. And then... Oh, okay, there's the convenience store. Okay, cool. Okay. Well, here we are. This is going to be our first day of work. Let's make some money. Who are you? How's it going, guy? I know what really happened here. I was called to warn you of, by the name I cannot speak of. The day of judgment will come. Hey, yeah! <laughs> okay, okay. Whoa, this place is so bright. Holy crap. I should turn the brightness down a little bit. Okay, that's a little bit better, but wow. How's it going, man? Oh god, you made it. Hmm. Oh no, it's just recently I heard someone fell off the bridge you just crossed. There was an old lady that said that she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Scary stuff. If only this was a true story. Ha ha ha. You're a dickhead. So this is my co-worker, I'm guessing. And I guess he's a bit of a, uh, likes to res me up a bit. Sorry. Yeah, you better be. 
right, so what do we do? Do we just aim to counter? Yes. Alrighty. Watch your mouth, bro. Alright. I think some food are expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off the shelves for me? Your manager. Okay. What's this? Uh, okay. No, I won't use CCTV. I don't need to, really. What's this? Punch in? Oh, it's a punch card. Okay, yeah, yeah. To start your shift. Okay, cool. Hey, where the hell are you going? Oi! Oh, we'll see you later. Have a good fucking night. Douchebag. Fine. Looks like the... Looks like some are expired. Okay. Take items off shelf. Yes. It's our okay. Looks like some are expired. Yes. Okay. Q to drop. I don't think any of them are expired. The shelf looks fine too. Hey man. I'll be right with you, alright? Hold on dude, I'll be right with you. I'm just gonna take out the trash, eh? Hey? Yeah, what's happening? Okay. I'll be right with you, bro. One sec. Throw away expired food. Okay. Oh, give me one sec, bro. How are you doing today, sir? How can I help you? Oh, yeah, you got a bento box and a, uh, a, a can of beer? Sure. Let me just get... Oh. Arigato Okay. Arigato Hey, okay. Hello, sir. How may I help you today? It's kind of late for a delivery man at this time, huh? We've recently incorporated this system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package directly shipped to this store. Oh, and the name matches your tag. I think this is for you. Okay. Take it home. Whoa. Okay. We're back home. The microwave's going by itself. Okay. I didn't even put anything in, bro. Oh, there's that box. There's a tape. Let's put it in our VCR. Let's see what we're looking at. Let's turn it on. Watch closely. Okay. What the hell? It was like caution tape. The only place I saw caution tape was near those bins. Is my food ready? Dude. That microwave was definitely going. We don't have... Oh, there's a flashlight. I have to pick it up again. What the fuck? Are we going back to work? Okay. What does it mean? I thought we just worked our first night shift. Okay. Why does it seem so much darker now? Yeah, it's definitely darker, dude. Alright. We made it to work. Apparently day one. I think it's day two, but... Sweet. Alright, that's a lot brighter now. Wow. How's it going, man? Hey, hey. So I heard you reported that the door would open on their own. The doors would open on their own. Yeah. Well, we've got a guy to check the sensor, and it seems like the wirings were loose. Oh, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist? I bet it fucking was. I see those on TV all the time, but they're all scripted. Ghosts aren't real, after all. Bullshit, bro. You don't know that. 
I guess my missions won't activate until I actually start my shift. Like punch in with the punch card. Would you please punch in? Sure. Are you the manager? I don't know if you're the manager or not, but I don't like you telling me what to do, bro. I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left garbage. The garbage bin open. First person to see this note has to get rid of the rodents ASAP. Your manager. Fuck off, man. All right, let's punch in. Where are you going? Dude, if you want me to get rid of the rats behind the thing, you got to at least man the store. The hell is this, bro? Worst co-worker ever. See you later, fuckwit. Oh, kill him. How do I kill him? I can't get rid of him. Do I need some? Oh. Ah. Oh. That's one. Oh, it's rat spray. Okay. Fucking hell, that must be some epic spray to just kill a big rat like that, dude. Right, it's number three. Number four. Five. It's one more. There he is. Done. I'm coming, sir. Or oh, ma'am. Keep them closed. Hey, Granny. You all good? Anything I can help you with? No, you're all good? Okay. Let's check up over here. Man, the floor could be mopped there. You're all right, Granny? Damn, you're getting there. Just need to use the restroom. Man, Granny's about to stink out the fucking store. <laughs> She's about to blow up my bathroom. I'm definitely not cleaning it. I'm gonna leave it fucking blown up so that the uh, day shift dude that keeps fucking walking out, he can clean it up. <laughs> you right in there, Granny? Need me to chuck you some TP? Ooh, how's it going, guy? Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now, could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a pack of cigar? Hurry up. Fuck you, dude. Alright, Jesus Christ. Here's your pack of cigars. Alright. Why don't you go get it your fucking self? The fridges are right back there, you see that? Jesus. <sighs> exactly right, babe. You tell him. Fucking go get it yourself, fuckwit. Oh, for fuck's sake. I've got a fucking... Jesus Christ. What kind of rude prick just does that? Get it yourself. Fuck nugget. Hate people like that, eh? Yeah, have a nice day, you fucking prick. <sighs> See how Granny's doing. She's been in there for a while. Oh, here you go. You all good, Granny? Fucking blew up a storm or something. You just got okay. You're not moving. You all good? Ha <laughs> ha ha! Where is Kenkun? You know where Kenkun is? Who the fuck are you talking about, Nana? I thought I heard his voice. You're tripping balls, Granny. This was my daughter's house. What did you do? What do you mean? How dare you? Nana, I have no idea what you're talking about. You just fucking... What do you mean, what did I do? You just blew up the toilet. And then start cursing at me. God damn. You didn't even buy anything. Nana was tweaking. There's Nana <laughs> hopping along. God damn. Look after yourself, Granny. It's fucking night time. You shouldn't be out by yourself anyway. I should go check, maybe make sure she, yeah, gets home okay. Jesus Christ, dude. 
fucking old Nana her age just plotting along in the darkness. Excuse me? Dude, the doors are doing the same fucking thing. What did he fix? <gasps> no way, I just saw that. That was a kid. He wasn't there before. Oh no, dude. I think there's a customer coming. Okay. How's it going, dude? Oh, wait, it's you again. How are ya? Good to see you again. Oh, you know the unstoppable trend of ordering everything online. Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. A uh, package? Okay, that must be this. Here you go, bro. Have a good one. Only fucking decent normal person that fucking comes into this store, man. The delivery driver. Everybody else is either a tweaked grandma or a fucking ghostly kid fucking fucking with my doors. Jesus Christ. Room. Fuck. Okay. Alright, we're back home. See the store. Looks a little bit brighter out today, tonight, I should say. Sounds like it's raining. What the fuck is that? Get umbrella. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Oh, because I need to go to work and it's raining, okay. Did you just hear that? Someone just knocked on the door. On one of these doors. I definitely heard a knock. Uh... What the hell? another tape who keeps sending me these tapes dude what the fuck okay I see some caution tape on the right there but this looks different there's like plants and tree and I don't fucking know I guess we go to work again. God damn, it's storming hard, dude. Wow. Alright, we're crossing the bridge again. Sick. Alrighty. Make that cash. Old mate's not here. The hell? Okay. Who's manning the store? <laughs> ah! Oh, fuck! Dude! You're a dick! Fuck you! Oh! Boo! I'm gonna kick you in the fucking nuts! Oh! I got you good! You're a fuckwit! Fuck you, man! That's not fucking funny! Okay, okay, fine, I'll stop. Yeah, no, you fucking better. Promise I won't do it again. <laughs> I need a minute, bro. I think I've got to go home. I've fucking workplace injury, you know? Holy shit. Why were you hiding in the fucking locker? 
Someone's been sending you VHS tapes? Yes! Sounds like a perfect idea for a horror flick. It's probably just a prank. I doubt it's anything. I mean, come on, it's just a video. Whatever, bro, you're a douche. Some products are missing off the shelf. Anyways, keep the shelves full. That's our motto. So please restock them by tomorrow morning. Your manager. You're a fuckhead. Yeah, let's punch in. Yeah, piss off, dude. Hey, we've got a leak. It's raining inside. So I've got to restock. Do I get the stuff okay here? Yep. Okay. I'll miss it. Oh, okay. Restock? Yes. Okay, so the chips. This over here. Um. What the fuck? I'm locked in! Um, help! Oh. That wasn't funny, yo. Restock, yes. Okay. Dude, what the hell? I swear someone pulled up and came in the store. Fucking whatever, dude. What is up with that guy? Has he got blood on him? Okay, he looks like a doctor or a surgeon or something. You okay, bro? Hey, I'm Hamada. So there's something wrong with the air conditioning? Your boss seems desperate to keep the food fresh. In keeping the food fresh. Hate to be working this late, but he pays me well, you know? Don't mind me. I'm just quickly... I'll just quickly check outside the outside units and head right out. Okay, sir. So what's he doing? Oi, there's a key in there. Hey, bro, can you get that key out? Go back outside. Hey, he's gone. You left your wrench. Oh, open the AC. Grab the key, nice. What do I do with the key? What's the key to? got a key to something. I don't know where it goes. Oh, hello, man. How are you today? Oh, I've just got to drop the key. And scan that. Hey, are you the only one working here? I can't believe this. What kind of manager puts a girl on a midnight shift alone? I see you have no choice. Well, at least I'll give you my protection charm. Now be careful. Ooh. Take it. Sure. Thank you, lady. Does this go to like a drawer or a locker of some kind? The toilet's talking. Oh, I can't get out. What's going on? the hell? What the hell is going on? Let's just put the key there for a sec.
fuck was that? Oh, there was this kid girl in the back. Dude. Those notes. What the fuck are these? Pick up a talisman. What does the talisman do? I found a key and I've got talismans. What the fuck are the talismans for? That's all ripped down now. Hello? Like a little shed. Maybe the key goes to this. It does. Feels like something's grabbing me. My arm goes numb. Maybe I need those talismans. Maybe those are like protection talismans. Okay. Let's grab them. Exercise the door. Oh, oh my god. How's it going, bro? Dude, that's my co-worker. Is that my co-worker? It is. Number four. It's the manager. Oh, what do I do? I can't click on him. He's in number four there. Oh. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It's the four mean. Get out now. What the fuck? What the fuck just happened, bro? We're back at home. Was that a dream or was that actually a shift? Still got no food. I'm fucking starving to death. There's another fucking package. For fuck's sake, dude. That's the shed that we were just in and had a nightmare about. I wonder if manager guy is like at the store when we go there next. Leave the door open as usual. Manager guy? Oh, dude, please be here. If he's not here, then we know exactly what happened. Manager guy, don't you dare fucking scare me. Okay. No notes, no punching card? What? Let's just use the CCTV for a sec. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. <gasps> oh, what just happened? What the hell just happened? Turn it on. Okay.
I think I know what I have to do. Maybe on the CCTV it's going to show us like which ones are like lit. <gasps> oh no, 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 no. Okay, he looked at that one and then that one. Then that one. Oh man, this is going to be hella hard to remember. Um... It looked at that one. Okay. Alright, let's give this a crack. Let's give this a try. So that one. That one. That one. That's wrong. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck, I hear something. <gasps> hey, buddy. You okay? <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Dude. Oh, what happened to me? Okay. Oh, everything's back to normal. What the hell? Jesus, dude. Are you serious? Another tape. Oh, I can choose to watch it. Send it off to someone else. Or throw it away. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be one of those things that's like um, multiple endings, I think. Oh, what do I do? Fuck it, let's just get rid of it. Send it off. Are you sure? Yeah, fuck this. I'm sick of watching them. I'm sick of sucking seeing them. I feel like I throw it. if I throw it away, it's going to lead to a bad ending. Ending one. I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulders relax. Too much had happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down on a chair to clear up my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what happened and why. So I turned to the internet about the store. I found a few old articles and forums talking about the location of where the building was made. One comment on the strange forum stood out to me. It said, there seemed to be some gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments in 2009. There was a case where a man who was the mainstay of the family committed a murder-suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. September 14th, the man killed his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was off to a grocery shopping to a local supermarket. When the wife came came back, it, it said that she was killed in an extreme way. He then hung himself on the same day. They say that the woman was pregnant at the time of the death. The woman was killed with several nails punctured onto her along with her child in her stomach. 
I wanted to throw up from the obscene images, but I knew I had to continue. There was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he had worked in the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at the work and he had complained to several colleagues. And on the day of the incident, it is said that he had an emotionless place. Imagining what the family had gone through, depression and hatred occupying my head, it was very painful. With tears in my eyes, I closed the internet gently and called the manager to talk about everything I'd experienced during the night shift and what I had discovered. However, the calls were never picked up. It was in the same. It was the same over and over again. Then I received a phone call from Mr. Ho Hoso, a franchise leader who I had never met. I had a bad feeling about it. Then, with a shivering voice, he said, "The manager is dead." I couldn't breathe, so it wasn't a dream, and when I asked about the place where it, it was found, Mr. Hose, Hosoe said that there was an old storage behind the convenience store and he was found there after the day of his death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I could, because every time I passed in front of the store, I would always feel a sharp stare towards me and I wouldn't be able to help. But to try pass as quickly as possible so as not to think look at the building a day later the store had closed down the reason seems to be due to poor management but further details were publicized at that point i didn't have the means or the courage to examine it anymore after a while the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit one day as i passed by the now closed down store i heard a child's voice there i saw the woman when i looked in my hand i had picked up one of the rusted nails that had fallen in the middle of the site. Wow, that was a lot of reading really quickly. <laughs> a game by Chiller's Arts. That was really cool. I really enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough of the convenience store by Chiller's Arts. If you want to see any more Chiller's Arts, then definitely leave a like, maybe sub, really helps my channel out. And yeah. Hope you have a good one. Bye.